Okay, guys. So welcome back again to my YouTube channel. In case you're wondering why I'm in the same outfit, it's because it's the same day. Yeah, so I basically just film videos, many videos at once, and then upload them in a schedule. So explains the top. I felt a bit lazy, to be honest. So um, today I'm going to talk about, let me see what I'm going to talk about. Hmm. My little notebook of ideas. Interesting. There's not much I'm going to talk about today. Wow. Oh, this is bad. Both of ideas is terrible. Hmm. Okay. Let's close the book and just write this out manually. <laughs> okay, that came out badly. But you get the point. So today we're going to talk about how you can avoid... Hmm, can I just come up with a brilliant idea like in a flash of a second? Hmm. Huh. How you can avoid oh giving up yes come to think of it i have i had 77 subscribers last week and one went wow and i've been on youtube for almost a year it's about now like nine months so 10 months it's almost a year actually guys and i still have 76 subscribers which i appreciate those 76 subscribers but you can imagine how discouraging it is like I had 77 subscribers and then now last week one subscriber went i lost one member of the subscriber family in my video that is quite a disheartening thing guys for any person who does youtube they know how discouraging and disheartening that is but i'm here to encourage you and to encourage myself to tell you guys 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 it's not the end of the world when somebody unsubscribes to your youtube channel it's also not the end of the world when you go into a pitfall no and it's also not the end of the world when something bad happens to you because guess what we can always get up when we fall down we get up yes i know it's hard for some people like when you talk of somebody who is, who is depressed and all that and depression is a mental illness so that is not the same as when you're a normal person and you enter a pitfall if you're a normal person you have no mental illness issues or anything of the sort what i can tell you is cry it out i didn't cry personally because i'm just tough like that unfortunately cry it out let your heart out if you're a youtuber and you're watching this let your heart out. Cry. Cry as much as you want. Afterwards, you'll feel better. Don't toughen it out like me. But me, the reason I didn't cry is because, well, I've had people subscribing and unsubscribing and unsubscribing and unsubscribing. So I <laughs> hope the algorithm doesn't hear that. And then they're like, hmm, we should investigate this person's content. No, it's because maybe they stumbled upon my channel and they discovered that, well, this is not my thing. So they logged out and unsubscribed unfortunately for me anyway guys that is just a whole lot of nothingness that i'm telling you but it's not nothingness completely what i'm trying to say is that we are all human beings nobody is perfect i know you've had this like a thousand a million times since you were in primary since you were in nursery since you were in kindergarten you've been hearing people telling you wow when you fall get up it's not the end of the world well it's the truth when you fall you get up and you do your thing and the way they always tell us stories about these supermodels, the Tyras, the Oprahs, their failures, and finally their successes. One theme always recurs in common, and that is they never ever gave up. Tyra went to like a hundred modeling agencies because before she became a supermodel. So I might fall like a hundred and one times, but you're gonna see my face on YouTube. And also, I know that my perfect audience is out there for me. They know they love my content. There's somebody out there who loves my content, and I know that they'll subscribe when their time comes. So maybe I just got the wrong audience that does not love my content, and therefore, yeah. So, guys, I thank you so much for listening to me rumble, for listening to me complain, listening to me encouraging you guys. And I wish all the best for you guys. Oh, yeah, I think this is the perfect video to even talk about the YouTubers who are Kenyans, who you should definitely follow if you like my content and also if you just want to follow Kenyan YouTubers, basically the YouTubers that I watch. And I watch their content because I enjoy watching their content, not because I want to, you know, like 
compare or anything. In fact, most of these YouTubers, I never ever used to even like, oh, I didn't start watching them like after my channel. Like I started watching them like way before, like I even decided to become a YouTuber. So the first one, guess what? You guys are going to be surprised. You guys are going to be surprised. Ordinary Kenyans like me, like you, like ordinary Africans like me, like you, like ordinary people, ordinary guys going about their day-to-day -day lives, just not faking anything. So the first person comes as no surprise, no surprise. She's way younger than me. Like most of these people are way younger than me, like could be their mother in another lifetime, but they're good. And I love their content. It's Joanna Kinudia. Yes. My sister Joanna, if you're watching me, send me some lipstick. Send me. Or, of course, I'll promote you. Very soon, I'm going to promote the girl. But she's an Azami line, And that was the most inspiring thing. You know, she has this personality that is just good. Like, Kwanza when Yalisema, she sings in the choir. It's Juya Kanisani, Catholic or something of the sort. I don't know whether it's Catholic. I was just like, amen, sister. That's why I love you. Like, she's so real. She's a normal Kenyan. Yeah, she's called Joanna Kinuthia. And if you're a makeup enthusiast, head on over to her channel. Of course, I'm not sponsoring anybody, but I feel like this girl, honestly, she works hard a lot. She does her own chores a lot, which is just good plus she has her own makeup line how more perfect can you get and the best part is that she's not perfect at all she's imperfect like the day she's sad the day she has acne and all that so joanna kinuthia is one of my favorite i've been watching her since she started since a quick toto with less than a thousand subscribers i'm 100 percent sure i was among the first people to subscribe to her channel so that is one of my best youtubers that i watch the second YouTuber is a lady called Kemunto Bear. And if you don't know Kemunto Bear, she's a very dramatic person with very dramatic thumbnails. But most of them are clickbait. But she has this like personality that is so real, like Akotu Yeye. And that always makes me watch her videos, like the fact that she's just herself. Ah, <sighs> Kemunto Bear is a certain girl who is like she's she, she in her description she's a plus size kenyan so if you're also plus size and you like exercises what and she's a vlogger so she does like normal everyday things she's not a beauty channel like joanna but she's a normal ordinary kenyan who i feel should be supported because the girl has like 600 video videos on her channel like seriously like and she's always posting like every week every week and recently she even posted that she wanted to give up because of various reasons various reasons but i understand i post so i know the burnout that somebody can an experience go help a sister out if you're my relative and you're watching this so if you're my friend or if you're a subscriber kemoto bear is one of the people i watch and then we have a nigerian that's not a kenyan but why not it's called kelechi mbubena now if you're starting out as a youtuber i'm sure you've come across kelechi mbubena because and kelechi might just forgive me for over pronouncing her name because that's not good to over pronounce somebody's name but I, I don't know the real pronunciation because I'm not a Nigerian. So Kelechi helps YouTubers to grow their YouTube channel and she does a great job at it. She teaches everything about cameras, about uh, videos. And if you're also into beauty and fashion, she does that. So she's very, very versatile. And I just love her like she's inspiring. For me, for Kelechi, I don't watch her for entertainment. I watch her as an inspiration. Like she does a good job. One is Nilotic Empress. Yes, Nilotic Empress does a lot of things but most of her stuff is just talking she's a vlogger but most of her stuff is just talking and she's just a normal ordinary kenyan who came from abroad and all that and i found, i discovered nilotic empress through watching kemuto bear's channel there's a time they hosted a thing together and they were living together so that's how i came across her and i just feel like she deserves more likes and yeah she also looks like she's around my age so i was like why not support her sister but forgive me if i'm wrong though and then we have who who do I normally watch a lot in Kenya? No, I don't want to have written it down because I really want to focus on the people I actually watch. There are so many by the way. There's a there's a girl, what was her name? Um somebody in Minza. I normally watch her. Of course, they are the obvious, like the Mariahs, the Saudi Soul family. Those ones are obvious, but I'm talking of somebody who is just a normal, ordinary Kenyan like me. I also watch um what is it called? Why am I forgetting? And I even have like their videos right now downloaded on my phone. Like seriously, 
Yes, and there are so many, by the way. Like Kenyan YouTubers are so many, like they're in the thousands. They are no, believe you me, don't think they are those two people you normally watch. They're in the thousands. And then, um, uh, there's a, oh, I normally watch Wahura also. Very nice girl. Um, she does vlog, so you know, vlogging is just up to somebody. And of course, I, yes, how could I forget Miss Trudy? I normally watch Miss Trudy because she just reminds me of when I was younger, like just a normal Kenyan who walked pandaing my tattoos except you know, sometimes she boards planes so that's not really what i was doing when i was younger so her she has the opportunity to board planes but she also boards my tattoos a lot so miss trudy is another down to earth girl and yes i remember watching miss trudy way before she became famous like way way before when she was posting her first first content and i was like wow her picture quality was bad at that time but i was like mm, She's got something. She's a Kenyan and she's a YouTuber. I'm going to support her. So you guys, make sure you support your Kenyan YouTubers so that they can also expand and grow. And 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 by the way, a lot of them have really, really, really good content. And I also watch some weird, um, like, this, but not Tuna Cheki. I honestly do not watch Tuna Cheki, but I see them popping up a lot on my suggested because... They have they, they have these like enticing stories, but they are not my kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, and also watch a couple of uh, comedians like um, Jalango. I watch his channel. I also watch who else? There are so many. Yani, there are these ones who are similar to Nacheki, but there's another one I've forgotten the name. Really good content. If I remember his, his, his the name of, if I find the name of his channel, I'm going to post it down here. He has really good content. And guys, make sure that you support your local ordinary Kenyan YouTubers because they actually have good content, most of them, and you might be surprised. Oh, and there's also somebody seeing, yeah, he's a traveler. He travels in hotels and eats, but I think he took a break during this corona period. This is like somebody seeing, can't remember his name, traveling seeing, or something of the sort, but he has really good content. I'll link all these people's videos down below because they deserve it. And I cannot forget the queen of fashion, Sonal Marhali. If you don't know Sonal, damn, but the girl has money. So she can buy herself some Louboutins and some... Louboutin is even an understatement. Like the girl, she even has her own also fashion line. If you don't know, designer fashion line, not just fashion line. And it's made like... She's a Kenyan, so it's a Kenyan brand called, um, what's the name of her brand? Maharali, I think. Well, I'm not sure, but it has a lion as a symbol. So if you're into fashion, go check out Sonal Maharali's page and also check out her pieces on Instagram. They are, and she has a website. It's not even on Instagram. She has a website like called sonalmaharali.com, if I'm not wrong. Hmm, let me not mess you guys up, but I'll definitely link the proper one down below. Like, that girl has money and good fashion sense and uh, yeah her, i don't know why she stopped posting i hope nothing happened to her during this covid period but she was great and she has a great personality and she's hard working and she encourages people and she's a go-getter so if you're you you like that's your personality type sonal is the person for you so and also she writes poems on instagram can you imagine she's also a poet like legit she writes poems on instagram with every post like full poem so guys oh yes how could i forget ivy melania now i discovered ivy when it's too late like that girl had been posting and then i just recently discovered her but i'm telling you there's a lady called ivy melania and she is yani mutu wa kawaida yani kama mimi na wewe yani she's she's an ordinary kenyan and i'm telling you that girl works hard you guys go support the girl honestly because ivy has been posting for the longest time possible and i'm just imagining the issues to feel probably the way i'm feeling now but lucky for her she finally got monetized and she finally like picked things up and i discovered her when she was too late because she's funny and like interesting to watch like she's she's interesting to watch and she does clips and normal ordinary vlogs mostly in her house in her bed sitter so no sec, I can see you in the mirror. Anyway, guys, I'll wrap up that video. And uh, bye. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and to help out these other Kenyan YouTubers and YouTubers like me.